Many of the characters we know in Star Rail have a very strong special skill or ability that make them stand out from the others. But there are a lot of people that don't have any special skills or powers as well. So when such a person manages to make their mark on the world, their achievements are much more impressive. And there is one such a man that has more than just left his mark. He is a man of focus, commitment and sheer f will. This is the story of Hugh, the hunter of the glacial forest. To survive the snow plains of Snowland, the Hunters Association had one simple rule. Never go to the south of the mountain during Artaius' hunting season. This gigantic white bear did not tolerate anyone invading its territory, so it was common sense for most hunters to never try and test its patience. However, after receiving a rescue call, the Hunters Association sent in one of their best hunters, Hugh, to help the victims escape the bear's territory. Unfortunately, Hugh didn't expect to walk right into an ambush set by his fellow hunters. Immediately after he arrived, he got shot from all angles, and he fainted from the shock induced by the sudden assault on his body. After a while, he regained consciousness, and he saw that the hunters had left him for dead on the snow plains. But that was the least of his worries, since he was staring right at the master of his hunting ground, Artaius. The struggle for survival was quick and brutal. Artaius charged forward, and Hugh, with his wounds, had no way to escape. But thanks to his experience as a hunter, he knew that even at this close range, some attacks had to miss. So he waited until the exact moment Artaius left an opening and plunged a poison-coated knife into the bear, killing it instantly. A couple of days later, the Hunters Association found Artaius' corpse. But it was missing its head, which could only mean one thing. Hugh had survived their ambush, and now they had made an enemy out of the greatest hunter they knew. And this time, he had a near indestructible armor piece. Hugh started to make preparations for his revenge. And the first step was gathering more gear to enhance his abilities. His first target was a snow rock lizard. These lizards lack agility but they can wait in ambush for weeks before striking a fatal blow. After successfully hunting one down, he not only made a pair of gloves to assist him in climbing and hanging onto walls, but also utilized the same technique the lizard used against his former colleagues. The reason the hunters had backstabbed Hugh was actually very simple. They wanted more bounties for themselves, so they planned an assassination on the snow plains. With the old hunter Hugh gone, everyone would be able to earn more bounties. So the impatient hunters decided to march into the snow plains to kill Hugh before he could become a greater threat. Sadly for them, Hugh had more than enough time to prepare, and he knew that hunting the top hunters of the association was as hard, if not harder than, hunting monsters. So he had to be more patient than ever, for patience is the most valued trait in a hunter, snow rock lizard or human. Soon, slowly, the numbers of registered hunters in the association began to dwindle, because rumors of a horror known as Hugh the Undead started to spread. There are many different beasts with unique traits on the Snowland snow plains, but the one with the biggest bounty of them all is the Lord of the Ice Lake, an ice dragon with unique skills that reflect and scatter sunlight, rendering the entire dragon almost completely invisible under the right circumstances. Only the best of the best hunters could hope to stand a chance against this beast. So the hunters of the association were completely horror-struck when they found the dragon's carcass with its skills already peeled off. During his time as a hunter, Hugh had hunted thousands of different monsters, each of them having different habits and traits a hunter had to completely understand. For Hugh, the Lord of the Ice Lake was the last piece in the puzzle that was the Snow Plains. By defeating the dragon, he had become the ultimate hunter. But now, the association had put the bounty for the Lord of the Ice Lake on Hugh's head, which started an all-out hunt on Hugh. Meanwhile, Hugh had hunted down a torch antler elk to create boots that allowed him to walk on the snow without leaving any tracks. The wounds from the hunter's ambush had almost left him dead, so the only reason Hugh was still able to fight 
was his burning desire for vengeance, and he knew that his body would stop functioning once he completed his revenge. The Hunters of the Association stood no chance against Hugh, who was untraceable, could become invisible, could strike from anywhere at any time, and was partially immune to physical damage. So they began to panic, and during this hysteria and chaos, they started to quickly purge the traitors that had attacked Hugh, hoping he would spare them. This marked the end of the Hunters Association, as it only led to their own destruction by mutual distrust. Hugh fell down for good on the snowy plains before he could experience the pleasure of completing his revenge. But in the end he did manage to utterly destroy his enemies. So even if he didn't know it himself, he had successfully completed every hunt on the snow plains. Human, beast or organization. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye.